Welcome, guys. It is the Axe Man here, and we are back on Arc Survival Evolved with some more Mega Monster Share Boy, the server that just won't go away. I've tried to push it away, but it keeps on coming back. The server is going to go on forever, man. I'm going to be 80 years old and still recording on here. God, could you imagine if I did? <laughs> could you imagine that? We're back, anyways, with some more Mega Monsters and some more hybrids. We've got some really, really cool hybrids today. I think I've saved like the best three to last. Like, I've got uh, the other ones out of the way and done with. These three today are going to be the best hybrids. So let's just jump in. Let me show you what we are planning on doing today. So the first one is a Cedar Camp, a Fawny Dragon, and a Kano. Yes, the Cedar Camp, the fish, the Arc fish, uh, mixed with a Fawny Dragon and a Kano. So that might be a water creature. I'm not too sure. Uh, next up, we have... Well, actually, I think it's here. Yes, we're having this one. This is a Dunkley, a Kano, a Shinehorn, uh, and I believe it's a Raptor, and I also believe it's a Ravager as well. This is like the first hybrid with like more than, uh, I think the first one that has five creatures in, which is just bonkers. And then last, but certainly not least, the reason you're all here, the one I've used in the thumbnail, I'm pretty sure, a Quetzal and a Giga. So... Giggers are pretty bad creatures. You don't want to run, run into one of them in the wild. What's worse than a wild Giga? A flying Giga. <laughs> Imagine Giggers grew wings. I think that's what's going to happen. We're going to have a Giga just flying about doing Giga stuff. Is that not the most terrifying thing you've ever heard of? It, it definitely is. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do them three. We're going to blast through them. And then I believe that leaves us with just one or two um, hybrids left. And I don't believe... Uh, I think one of them might be a boss one. I'll have to go back through the list. I'm, I'm sure there's a new boss dude. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. We'll, we'll go for them eventually and stuff. But uh, yeah, today is going to be exciting. These are some amazing hybrids i could already tell so before we do start if you enjoy the episode at any point make sure you whack a like on the video make sure you're subscribing you ring the bell you enable your notifications because if you don't i'm going to set all these hybrids loose and they're going to come to your house they'll eat all your food and then you'll have no food left they'll just they'll just raid your kitchen and your fridge <laughs> so make sure you like the video all right so let's start off then with our sealer camp one so it is called a a look Luto Draco. So it's a hyper class. Description. A rather peculiar hybrid that was intended to test the versatility... The versatile, sorry. See the camp genes. This muddy hybrid is an optimistic hunter that uses the Fawny Dragon scales as a rattle to intimidate other creatures. Oh, I think this might be a cute one, you know. <laughs> I think this dude might be cute. It doesn't tell me if it's a water one or not. Uh, I can't remember if this mod actually does that, if it tells you that you need to pop it in the water. But uh, it's a very cheap one uh, compared to some of the other hybrids we've done. Uh, just needs some common dino, excellent dino, and one synthetic egg. All right, so this sounds like it's... I don't know. I don't know, man. Right, let's get this one built up. And yeah, we'll just have a look. It might tell us if we need to pop it in water or not. All right, it's not telling me to put it in the water at all. So I think we're good. So I I don't know what to expect. I'm going to guess a Kano body, right? It doesn't tell us anything about the Kano in the description. So I'm going to guess Kano body, fish face, and then the dragon scales all over its back and on its tail. I I don't know, man. I wonder if it's just a fish. <laughs> Let's just go. Let's see what happens. All right. Well, it didn't die. So I'm guessing it can't be just a fish. Let's... Oh, my God. <laughs> I've only just seen the face. Oh. Oh. Wow. That is amazing. That is actually amazing. Oh, my God. What have they done to you? <laughs> Why did they create you? Oh, wow. That's actually cool. That actually looks like a, a creature from Monster Hunter. The, the the fish dudes that walk up with a big fin. That looks like a Monster Hunter creature. I wonder if um, I wonder if that's what inspired this one. Oh, man. Okay, well, we can see every single creature in this one easy. So you got the Kano 
I guess sort of the Kano body with its uh, with its legs, but it also has the Cenocamp body. Like you can see the chunkiness of it. Obviously, we've got a fish face with all them teeth. That looks absolutely terrifying. We've got the big fin and we've got the scales all down the back of it. I'm easily giving this a 10. This is amazing. This is what hybrids should look like. Just terrifying abominations. That's mad. Oh, uh, I was hoping it was going to be really small. If they did a small one, what's under your chin? And like a pan. <laughs> Weird. Uh, do you need a saddle? You do need a saddle. I'm guessing Carno saddle for you. I, I love it. I love it as a hybrid. It's not pretty, but it's not meant to be. It's not meant to be pretty. Carnos aren't pretty. Fish are fish. Fish ain't pretty. The funny dragon's pretty cute though, to be honest. But yeah, that's that's so cool. <laughs> that's so. I love the fish hands as well. I love the fish hands. All right, let me get a saddle because we need to test this dude out. All right, so just a normal Carno saddle then. Uh, I don't think we're sitting on it very well. Now we might bear. Yeah, the, the saddle's a little funky uh, on his head. Uh, I'm sure they'll fix that at some point. Oh, we actually have two fins. I didn't realize we had two fins on the back of us. Okay, so this is just moving around. Okay, and then we've got left click. Carno bite, right click. Tail swipe, C. Is a roar. Now, does that give us a buff at all? Nope. X. Oh, that definitely did summit. Oh, I accidentally whistled all. That that nearly went bad. <laughs> that nearly went very bad. I'm actually just going to take it down because I want to test it swimming and stuff. And maybe whatever that X attack is. So let's go have a, a quick ganders down here. We've got any bosses that are going to eat my butt? Because I'd rather you not. Are we all good? Hell yeah. All right. So let's pop you out, Mr. Dude. All right. So I just kind of want to test your swimming at first. Do you swim like a, a fish? Of course, this is the bit of the water that isn't that deep. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. So you, you're a fish. You swim. So... Oh, here we go. We're going to have something here. Bite you. Do bleed damage tool. Tail swipe. Oh, okay. You hurt a little bit. Okay, so C is still a roar underwater. Okay, so we've taken a bit of damage. Let's pop up here. So if we look, take some damage. X. I mean, we're healing pretty quick. 22. Hey, frick off, sir. What the heck? Oh, God, he's like kicking my butt. Can you not? No, definitely don't. All right, I don't know what that does then. I don't know what that does, um, but you're cool, man. I like that. <laughs> you're a cool fish, bro. Okay, so there's the fish. If you want to get your ratings in, pop them in now, or you can wait till the uh, the end of the video when we do them all together. So next up then... Oh, God. So base loading in. We have all the frames and everything right now. There's so much stuff here. So next up then, we have the big one uh, of the five hybrids the carno what was it carno uh, a dunkley um a shine horn a raptor and a ravager so this is called a rather rather geplaceratop <laughs> is what it is so this is a ferocious tank so this hybrid seems to be liking caves more than the surface biomes, making it very good caving hybrid thanks to its discreetly injected Ravager DNA. Having an unusual hygiene variation makes this uh, the only non-operation hybrid that has more than four creatures in it. Oh, so they discreetly injected it with Ravager DNA. That's kind of cool. That sounds like they made it and then some dude was like, you know what? What if? We added some Ravager in. And then someone else was like, yeah, do it. But we won't tell anyone. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so that one's kind of a little bit expensive. You need Mammal, Excellent, Common, Exotic, and a Carno Egg. All right. I don't really know what to expect from this dude. All right, if we're going to try and guess what this is going to look like. Um, I'm going to say Carno Body. Dunkley Armor. Raptor Claws. Shinehorn Light on the top of it? Oh, I don't know. 
If you want to whack uh, a comment down, pause the video, whack a comment down on what you think it's going to look like. We can see how many of you were close. Because it could easily be on all fours. It could easily have a, a shine horn body. It could have the raptor body. Kano, but like maybe chunky like the Kano. It could be anything, man. It could even just be a water creature, which I doubt it. But let's freaking see this one. Okay, no one look. No one look. No one look. Oh, my titties. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Right. Nothing like I thought was going to happen. This dude kind of looks cool. This dude looks, like it said, this dude looks like a cave creature with them big eyes for seeing in the dark. So we have the Kano body. We have raptor claws. We have raptor feathers. We have shine horn horns and shine horn fur. Uh, we've got some little spikes on the back. Obviously, there's the dunkly face. And it looks like we don't actually see any of the ravager. But it did say that was discreetly popped in there. Which means... Oh, no, there we go. Ravager, raptor, uh, ravager ears. We have the ravager ears. I guess they are sort of discreetly there. Oh, man. This is actually really cool. Very interesting. I actually really like it. it. I can see every creature and it's nothing really like I expect it to be. The Dunkley face is definitely different, but cool. So, yeah, I thought you might need a, a saddle. I'm going to guess a Kano saddle. So, Kano saddle. I, I actually love that. I like its tail as well. I thought that's a Deinonychus tail more, but whatever. That's cool. I'm loving the fur. I'm loving the shine horn pattern on it. So obviously, Kano move, uh, movement. So left click, right click. See? Ooh, that was like a bite and tear. And X is whatever that is. Okay. Uh, oh, 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 we had a buff some cave armor. Oh, shit. Plus 10% armor. I don't know what move that one was. Uh, all right. Do you also have a light? If I... Can I pop a light on you at all? Because that would be sick. If this dude has a little light. Okay, so... X. Oh, yeah. X is the armor. X is that armor. So if I was gonna... Do a light. Do you do a light at all? If this dude had a light... All right, dude, let's go and eat some of these Cidosauruses. So let's try C first. It does pick them up. Oh, shit. He like picks them up and grabs them and shakes them. Left click, right click, which adds bleeding. I love that C attack. Is that an animation from anything we've seen? Because obviously the Megasaurus picks things up, but it grabs and shakes. That's sick. This dude is easily a 10. This dude's 11. This is one of my favorites. This dude's one of my favorites. Easy. I love everything about him. I hate Carnos, but it's just the Carno body. <laughs> it's just the Carno body. All the all the bad bits of the Carno are pretty much gone. Yo, that dude's sick, man. I like you. <laughs> I like you. You're really cool. That is definitely up there with Tilly and Squishy. It's like, I don't know. I just like the weird, unique ones, you know? Okay, so let's move on then to our last one of the day. The Quetzal and the Giga. So this is called a, a, a Giga Ducetrix. Something like that. It's a ferocious class. So here we go. Description. Think of a Giga. Now think of a Giga with wings. That is literally what I said. <laughs> so think of a Giga. Now think of a Giga with wings. This hybrid was supposed to be dismissed as a failure because of it having two extra limbs rather than just having wings and legs. Be careful as this hybrid still possesses the Giga Rage. Oh boy, that sounds amazing. So they were meant to just have uh, the wings and the legs. But I'm guessing it kept the Giga arms, which is the two extra limbs, right? So this one was meant to be a failure. Oh, that's cool. I love I love these little, like, they're not full-on backstories, but 
like how someone snuck in the Ravager DNA and this one was not really meant to be released to the public sort of thing. That's cool. I'm going to guess this dude's going to be big, but I'm going to guess it's going to be a Giga. And as we can kind of see with the picture with a Quetzal head and some big fat wings. This one's going to be absolutely insane. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. He's, it's big. It's big. Here we go. The, the unveil. Oh, it's a freaking dragon. <laughs> it's the freaking dragon. Oh, my God. It's got the dragon butter. You can tell straight away. Yo, that thing's mad. Okay, so we, we've we got the dragon uh, like model skelly, but it's covered in the giga skin. We've got giga arms, uh, giga legs, and obviously dragon... Dragon wings, but textured like the Quetzals. We've got Quetzal fur underneath it on its shoulders, and then the big Quetzal mohawk. I love its face. I love its, uh, it's like a parrot-like face. That's, I wasn't actually expecting that. That's actually crazy. All right, well, I have the saddle for it already because I'm big prepared. Oh, damn. All right. Okay, uh, we're flying. Oh, it's a slow fly like a Quetzal. Oh, wow. This is at full speed. Oh, my God. This is a Giga flying around in the sky. This would be amazing. Get your PvP out. Get a Giga flying around. All right. Are you uh, like a normal trike? You're not. I would like to bite something that's not going to blow me head off. An Alpha Dodo will be fine. All right, uh, I'm actually out of Stam. So we, we don't have much Stam like Gigas. Uh, can we land here? Okay, we landed. We actually hurt ourselves a bit then. Okay. So left click. Right click. So we uh, we bite, we punch. See, we do wings. Oh, that's actually really cool. Oh, we're out of Stam again. That wing attack was actually really nice. I liked that. X. It's a roar. Okay. Its wings are a little funky, but I mean, it's got to be hard to kind of get them like that. So let's have a look. 308. Uh, can we punch this dodo? 319. Can we blow this dude away? Do we like do a fright and roar or anything like that? No. Oh, man. This is mad. I love the, um, the run on all fours. That's really cool. I'm guessing that that's from, uh, that's what the dragon does though, ain't it? So it's got definitely got that dude's uh, animations for walking and running. So do we do anything different when we're flying? Oh god, we're out of stam all the time. Okay, so this dude has terrible stam. I'm going to pump all that levels we just got into the stam there. We have a nice big chunk of health though. Nice big chunk of health. So yeah, it's got on the, que on the wings, it's got the Quetzal's hands still on the wings, which I've only just noticed as well. That's cool. So, oh, if you're going to get one of these, be careful of the stam. It is awful. I guess that's got to be to balance it out, right? That's got to be to balance it out. That's that's madness, man. This is <laughs> It's a freaking Giga with wings. <laughs> I can't get over that. A Giga with wings. Oh man. Oh man. That's cool. That's really cool. When it when it flies as well, it puts its feet together. I think that's really cute. I don't know why. That just looks really cute. Oh. You know what'd be really cool if you could build a Quetzal platform saddle on the back of this? Imagine having a Giga Quetzal with a base on the back. <laughs> that would be some next level stuff, right? Obviously, slow at flying. We're slow at walking. We have terrible stam, but we're powerful and we're a Giga Quetz. Got to balance it out somehow. We literally ran out of stamina as we got to here. Come on, you know you there. As I was about to say, today's hybrids have been top notch. Like, they have been really good. So let's get you out. Let's get me boy out. And we'll, Dude, pop your head back down. We're trying to do stuff here. Uh, was it you? You may have won. <laughs> oh man, look at them. Look at all of them. Are they not the best hybrids we've seen? I I'll give every single one a 10. I'm going to give them all a 10. 
every single one for their abilities, for the way they look, for the uniqueness. Every single one here gets a 10. These have been my favorite hybrids, and I'm glad, glad I saved them all to the end. So we're going to get Fish Boy, we're going to get Cave Boy, and we're going to get Giga Boy, maybe. Can we get your taxidermy, please, sir? There we go. Awesome stuff. Oh, man. I'm actually... This one's grown on me more and more. I think it's the cat ears as well. I like the cat ears. It's cute. All right. So let's pop these all the way. Fish boy, amazing. And boom. All right. So let me go see if these all fit into a displays. And then we can have a quick look at what is uh, actually left for us. And here we go then. So I moved some things around. So we have Fish Boy here, Cave Boy here, and then I moved the Megalosaurus Mantis dude with them because they kind of all go together. But honestly, like, absolutely love these two new ones. Like, absolutely amazing. So here's me Giga Quetz. This is the smallest size I can make him. Um, so he has a big, massive thing against the wall here. Again, these walls just don't want to snap nicely, but I don't really care too much. I was going to place another wall here, but um, yeah, he kind of go comes out. And I was going to bring the wall out a bit more, but then it makes these look really small. So we've just got this. We've just got good old hanging over the edge of the glass, dude. But yeah, he looks obviously insane, as you could imagine. Oh, I never actually saw his teeth in there as well. That's really cool. So today's hybrids have just been absolutely amazing. I love the fish. <laughs> I absolutely love the fish. I love this dude as well, though, man. These two and these two, they, these four have been my favorite of, like, this little group of hybrids. Man, that's so cool. So this room's nearly done. We've got a couple spots left. So if we just head back up to the top, then we can have a look at what is left. Uh, I should be able to bring up what I have and haven't done. Let me just find them. Okay, so yeah, it's literally just the bosses left. So I'm just brought up the uh, the Steam page. So we have Operation Banshee. And then we have this dude, which has a really long name. And then it says there's a new boss as well. And some Storm Magia Summit. So we've done all the ones we can create. We do have this boss one, which we will have a look at at some point. So uh, as you can see, we need loads of DNA. Uh, I think we must have to fight this or something like that. But the origin of the Xanthanapodactus is a mystery. No one knows where it came from. The only thing known is of their ravenous hatred of survivors. Its composition is so diverse at the point where it shouldn't be able to survive less than an hour. The research table suggests that the, the dude on the island are made from a number of failed secret experiments. The Any known of these rogue hybrids should be eradicated before they cause any environmental damage. So there should be some of these dudes just uh, knocking about, which is absolutely terrifying. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's any other ones. So we've got the Sapien one we've done, the Exo dude. So Operation Banshee is one we have not done. Thanks to Calio Rex complex vocal cords and the DNA of several other aggressive herbivore creatures, creates this super aggressive herbivore that has a mentality of a predator. This, uh, this hybrid kills because it's fun. Operation Banshee can create powerful roars that buff allies and is a great support creature. Hell yeah. So we've got two boss creatures uh, we may have to look at at some point in the future. But that is the, the main, um, the hybrids you can create, like the, the basic creatures, I guess you'd call them. They're not overly basic. So you'll have to let me know, out of every single hybrid we've got so far, which one is your favourite? We have, like... I don't know what you were. I know some of them have been updated. I don't know. Are oh, you like a Giga Leech or something, I guess? Some of these did get updated, but we never really checked them out. But, uh, yeah, you'll have to let me know, out of all the ones that we had a look at and stuff, which one you liked the most. I want to say, obviously, Tilly always has a plate place in me heart but oh, i always like this dude uh, this one's gone missing i think always love to snake rg dude but i love i love squishy absolutely love squishy i love the little porcupine dude and these two as well are amazing oh god i love the hybrid mod man i can't wait to do a full-on survival series with them 
But uh, we're going to wrap it up there then. So if you enjoyed today's episode, if you enjoyed all the hybrids, make sure you do whack a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe. You ring the bell. You never notifications. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in a bit. See you later.